Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and the latest patch just then dropped, which has three of the new skills, Blight, uh, Scorching Ray, and Blade Flurry. And the one I've been focusing on for the past couple of hours is Blade Flurry. So we picked it up from the Act 3 vendor that sells all the other sorts of um, level 28 gems, and it looks kind of like this. So it has a 66% um, cap of base attack damage, a whole bunch more of more attack speed and area of effect, as well as 20% more damage each stage. Read through it, and essentially what happens is you're going to stand still and cast until you get six stacks. Once you get six stacks, you don't get any more stacks, but you do continue to do the same sorts of damage. Uh, if you stop casting and unleash, you will then use those six stacks to attack just like you're normally attacking but six times at once so it's kind of just a it charges up while doing regular sorts of damage uh, by hitting many times uh, it charges up once you get to six you basically want to go one two three four five six and then move and unleash so do that every single time you're trying to attack with it that's the basics of the skill. Um, it has quite a lot of area. It's scaled by area. As you can see, it says attack, AoE, and melee at the top of the gem. So it's a melee skill, technically, um, which you'll see is kind of a joke in a second. And it's scaled by area gem, wearing a carcass jack, and a dying sun. So you can see that once you get um, as much area as possible, it does have a rather large graphic, and you're going to be able to essentially off-screen with this skill um, pretty much all the time, so running something like this map is quite insane. Because you pretty much don't have to go down levels or anything like that anymore. So this is not even pressing Dying Sun, just increased area and carcass jack, so that's about 60% area right there, none on the tree whatsoever. And you're almost off screening, so there's the threshold right there. When you have the Dying Sun up as well, we will be off screening with this attack. And it gets pretty crazy, and the damage is also rather insane, um, as you can tell. So, bam, off screening, down levels, up levels, and then as you can see, so we charge up six and then unleash, and it goes crazy because it just then uses your six stacks around your general area here and uh, does quite a lot of damage. So, then also you can put in conk effect, and that does scale your damage. Now what you're looking for here is average damage, because that's every hit is going to be an average of a certain amount of damage. This is with um, Dying Sun, Carcass Jack, and Conk Effect, and it's still pretty damn good on area and pretty fucking amazing on the clear speed. You're going to be clicking wherever you want, and that's where you're going to be doing damage. It's not like those pesky name lock skills where you have to run up and do crazy sorts of um, face tanking. Instead, it's probably one of the most range-based melee skills in the game right now, and I'd liken it very similarly to um, Flicker Strike, I guess. If you can pay attention to what's actually happening, it kind of looks like a Flicker Strike that's stationary. So you run up and you right-click, and you're kind of doing like a multi-strike flicker without actually moving on all of the mobs around, with a big finale on um, your damage if you unleash six stacks. It's relatively cheap on mana, um, six linked, 15 mana a cast, so it's not too bad, just get a bit of leech. And the single target is quite insane as well. We've got two bosses here and pretty much nothing else here. And it does quite a lot of work, as you can tell. This is the Wild Strike character I showcased for you guys yesterday. And as far as I could tell, Wild Strike is something like one third of the skill that this is. One third the damage, the clear speed's that much worse because there's no, you know, area. You got a name lock, you got a target monsters, whereas this with increased area, you're just fucking off screening. So playing with it was incredibly smooth and uh, just kind of felt rather overpowered. Uh, I played with it for about two hours at the end of today's stream and did quite a lot of things and it really did feel like probably the best melee skill we've had to date, at least so far. Uh, as far as I could tell, it's just super easy to play with, it's super strong. Uh, this is with my fully elemental character that's got quite a lot of attack speed, so I will have to level a brand new assassin, I think, go uh, fizz-based, and try it out with, I guess, slower attack speeds and sort of a different setup. But from what other people have been reporting, it's got absolutely insane damage and could probably be, probably be one of the highest single targets out there at the moment. And on this Ziri, I learned you can just stand still and charge up 
to 6 before the um, split phase comes out and then unleash it as you can see right here and she'll die immediately so if you stand still charge it up to 6 on nothing and then unleash all 6 of those stacks you're going to obliterate whatever you're attacking and my character is not even that strong for this type of damage at this stage so it can get better and I think Fizz is probably going to be the way to go or at least stacking a large amount of um, sort of base damage rather than attack speed as well. Attack speed is great to stack up uh, stacks or of the actual skill quickly but you do also really want to hit super hard as well. So I'll probably be building an assassin, trying it out with maybe a Varanastra, maybe some Abyssus action, and see where it takes us. If the skill doesn't get enough too much, it's probably just fucking way too good. If it does, it might still be really fun. So we'll have to wait and see. Get on it as soon as you can, and see you guys next time.